going to be a little bit more humid than it's been the past couple days, but still not bad. But then it turns more humid tonight, tomorrow, and into Tuesday. So this gets kind of back towards the muggy category here. And this will be the same time we're pairing that with high temperatures back close to, if not a little bit above 90 degrees. Today, away from the coast, most spots upper 80s to around 90 degrees, and tonight a few degrees warmer. Won't have any crisp 50s across the area. We'll have some mid and upper 60s to around 70, and tomorrow, that looks to be about the hottest day of the week. Tuesday will be close, though. Low and mid 90s away from the coast, and when you factor in the humidity, it'll feel closer to about 100 degrees in the afternoon. 93 for tomorrow, 92 Tuesday, 91 Wednesday. That feels like 10 those days, mid to upper 90s. 90s. Then it cools off a little bit Thursday, Friday and Saturday, but we're still talking about temperatures above normal in the mid to upper 80s. And that'll last into Sunday and Monday as well. Looks like temperatures will stay above normal a good chunk of next week as well. Lots of sunshine for today and tomorrow. Maybe a pop up storm in the mountains by Tuesday. And then we watch something that's developing near the Bahamas the next couple days that may get close to Cape Hatteras by Thursday into Friday. Looks like it's going to stay far enough eastward to not give us a huge impact. Maybe a couple showers. We'll have to keep an eye on that because that may become a tropical depression over the next couple of days. There's the seven day forecast. Chance of storms goes up Thursday, Friday and Saturday as the front comes in and that moisture approaches us from the east. Temperatures then in the 80s, but it's going to stay humid. In fact, overnight lows between 65 and 70 all week and highs in the 80s and low 90s.